Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming this presentation. I am glad to see you all. Let me introduce myself. My name is Putra Dishani. You can call me Sani. I am from Center for Research and Publishing di Universitas Jatiluhur Jakarta. This opportunity, I would like to present our paper, COVID-19, Accelerating Digital Transformation for University Research Administration. I will share screen for you. Okay. This study examined how COVID-19 has accelerated the digital transformation of research administration at the State Islamic University of Jakarta, Luar Jakarta. A mixed method approach was used in this study, with data obtained from a web-based survey and also focus group discussion. The survey involved 157 grand recipients from UI in Jakarta. The SDBs include eight research administration from a center of research and publication in Jakarta. In an unexpected situation such as COVID-19 pandemic, the service profession cannot be withdrawn from the most accessible online. Based on the available digital technologies, most of these activities are therefore evolving digitality. The profession of public service to students, lecturers, and the general public is similar. COVID-19 triggers digital acceleration with information and communication technology now becoming very important to the society. In this study, the researchers want to see how attempts to digitalize the system component of research administration system have been made and how the grand recipient reacts. This study is important to provide an understanding of how phenomenon of COVID-19 has driven the extended use of digital technology in research service and management. This report also provides recommendations about what can be done in the future of empowered ICT usage to improve public service and administration. About the method, the method of study employed was a mixed method approach. Quantitative data was derived from survey results with grant recipient, and qualitative data were derived from open-ended survey questions and dialogue with the research administration team during SDBs. Survey questions are organized on Google Form so that participants can answer automatically and the program instantly reveals the percentage of response. The survey questions in which data are discussed in this paper are 1. How do you read the Litabimas app? How does the clipping provide online service provision or the survey component that are not presented in this paper at implementation of research? The number of samples, data collection point, and research budget. The survey was distributed to 161 researchers teams that received research funding, comprising seven research cluster and two publishing cluster. However, the survey form be only complete by 137 researchers. The survey was conducted from 21 until 31 August 2020, or more, one more before the end of the fiscal year research phase, marked by the recipient submission of the research report. The answer to the survey question has been tabulated and displayed in graphical form analyzed and answered later. The analysis was carried out at the SDB activity which was attempted by eight research administration in the SDBs of grand recipient access to use of the Abimas and evaluate which we can arrange online services was addressed. Discussion of terms were reported in the minutes and memo.
I will to send you the result of the research. The figure above indicates that the dark blue squares, which are methods or program used before the COVID-19 outbreak, while the red squares were only recently used as a result of the COVID-19 outbreak. Six year digital program used by Fuslit may include the Abdimas website, WhatsApp, email, Zoom to form, and Zoom meeting. Data Bimas was initially used to obtain a research proposal and a budget map. Review the proposal, write the research logbook, submit a research report, draft paper, and financial report. Data Bimas is, however, now being used for the first time for analyzing research performance or report reviewing. We can see at the diagram, the Lita Bimas application is an information system used by the researchers from the proposal selection stage, completing research activities, to reporting the study results, the survey results show the grant recipients, and the Lita Bimas program is easy to use. About 67.9%. However, the researcher still face some problems, such as logbook meaning, which cannot be accessed from the new Lita Bimas application. Researchers have to use the old Lita Bimas application to complete the logbook. The latest Lita Bimas application is implemented in 2020. In the meantime, the problem faced by Lita Bimas administration, public and staff, is that uploaded research reports cannot be recapitulated automatically as a whole. So, administration need to view or download the research report one by one. Another recommendation from grant recipient and research manager is to enhance the website appearance. The Lita Bimas website menu display still not user friendly. Some users still need to ask administration how to use it. The result number two is Puslit Pen provide administrative support to research grant beneficiaries through various online applications during the COVID-19 social distancing period. Administrative support is only to carry out by Puslit Pen in the office and using the print record such as providing research license, checking official sample documents, and other research papers that may now be performed online. Nearly all researchers, about 19.3.4%, found the service to be helpful. Other than that, they were happy the up to date information could be accessed to the Kuslipin website. Research methodology workshops are conducted through the Zoom Meet program, and only research reporting is conducted through the Lita Bimas application. This is grand recipient said that the Slip Pen should continue to use this technology in the future research management and administration board. The health crisis has led to a restriction of mobility for some people. Administration and public services have been much more dependent on technology. Without the COVID-19 lockdown, this technology transition would have required many more years to become established like seems to be currently. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant and rapid effect of higher education institution worldwide. This research showed that COVID-19 accelerated the use of emerging technologies in the administration and public service. Curtis called the magic bolt to boost public service. Digital transformation can enhance performance, capacity building, and create a framework for constantly developing service to empower consumer users. The pandemic rapidly accelerated predicted trend in information management. COVID-19 has fundamentally changed many facets of human life and global culture for years to come. A main aspect of transition has been the increased digitalization and the rapid 
through this chain of previously inspected department address to literature and information management for several years to have happened in a blink. Despite all limitation, the brain recipient response to the use of new technology has been very positive. They found that ICT was a very attractive and the web-based program was also easy to use. Conclusion This research used only one university case study and the sample size is relatively small too. Therefore, the finding that study cannot be applied to the young population. However, this study also has considerable consequence, including an overview of how COVID-19 has affected digital technology, transformation in higher education, institution, research, administration. COVID-19 is not the first or the last virus infecting humanity. Therefore, the administration digitalization is an example of an important initiative that could be used to address future health risks and other disaster risks in the future. This research also shows how to use basic software like Google Form to simplify matters relating to finance and administration. This study's finding can be used as a preliminary reference to study further how to build a reliable and simplified technology-based research grant administration. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you very much.